Praise the Lord. I thank God for this wonderful opportunity which God has given me to stand before all for sharing the word of God. Let us turn our pages to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 to 7. Anyone of you read please. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 to 7. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer and our hope for you is firm because we know that just as you share in our sufferings so also you share in our comfort praise the lord hallelujah the beautiful word of god here eh, talking about two things the one is suffering the other one is comfort what a great thing we can see here in this chapter the apostle paul beautifully says here the life of Christians, the holy life, the Christian life, the Christ-centered life is not about the happiness, peace, joy, what we think of, plan of. And uh, the word beautifully says and explains, uh, Apostle Paul very boldly says to the people of Corinthians, the life of Christian is not about happiness, joy, but it is uh, the matter of suffering and comfort. If anyone suffers with Christ, uh, he is entitled to receive the comfort. Hallelujah! The beautiful word uh, which expresses the things uh, that we should suffer with Christ. These are the days we are meditating about the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, uh, who forgave our sins, and who is guiding us to eternal life. We have the hope for the eternal life in Christ and in his suffering. The fact what we know, we come to know from this word of God, we are called to suffer in Christ. In this world, uh, it is very difficult to have the Christ-centered life, the spiritual life. There's so many difficulties may be there. There's so many people we can plot against our Christian life. The Christ-centered life we may think to have, but physically it will be very difficult in some circumstances. But uh, the faithful believer who suffers in Christ uh, is entitled to receive the comfort from God and stays in the presence of God with a prayer and looking upon heaven where our help comes from. Then what will happen? The people, those who suffer with Christ, uh, is entitled to comforted in Christ. This is what the beautiful promise word of God has given. Unless you suffer for Christ, it is not uh, sweet and nice. It is not happy, good and bad. But it is the suffering and comfort and we should know what is the payment for our sin. What we have to pay for our sin what we have to do for our sin and what we have to do to get into heaven with Christ. And uh, the comfort what Christ gives it is not uh, easy. Just like I screamed it through all. A giveaway. It is uh, the thing what anyone wanted to receive the comfort from Christ. The peace, the joy, what we expect from Christ is uh, includes uh, the suffering. The suffering will be coming by sight. It is not by ourselves or our wish or sinful activities. The beautiful Lord of us, because of your holy life, your faith in Christ, your trust in Christ, and your Christ centered life, which leads to suffering. Because the world is against Christ. The worldly life, the worldly nature is against Christ and his life. Therefore, because the world is filled with the sinful nature. 
and the father of the earth is a liar the satan therefore how you can live? how we can live in enemy's house in happiness you have to go through persecutions troubles but we all the hope in christ that he is comforting us the spirit of god is comforting us that is what the hope we have that is the hope which gives us the life in christ life in our christian life and we love the christ central life because christ is with us unless we feel christ is with us we can never have the comfort in our life only suffering 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 murmuring 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 our life we shall go off we can never see the eminent things eh? and we can never see the comfort in christ eh? what christ has kept for us and that is what paul very clearly emphasizing and clearly explaining to the people of corinthian that uh, those who eagerly wait for the happiness joy bread i jump so on apostle paul explained the sufferings you have to go through then you are entitled to comfort the suffering which leads you to salvation the pain if we go through the sufferings if we go through the troubles if we go through if we face any troubles within your family because of your faith in christ if you feel any difficulties because of your faith in the society because you feel any difficulties in the world because of your faith in christ the suffering will be there you should be able to bear the suffering in christ the power of the holy spirit you have to pass through when you pass through the god of comfort will be there with you you are entitled to receive the comfort as much as you are entitled to suffer with christ you are uh, promised to have the comfort in christ uh, to have the beautiful life with the uh, eternal hope the trust what you put in christ is uh, having the life that is what we have to express and we have to put it into exercise and we have to expose that is what we have been called to therefore dear brothers and sisters today as god has granted this beautiful words the corinthian words to us to bear we should be ready to suffer without a murmuring against god Though we may have the difficulties, troubles, uh, trials, uh, temptations, so many things, uncountable maybe, but uh, we have the promise of God that God of comfort is uh, with us. Therefore, with that courage and oh, let us move forward, remembering the sufferings of Christ on the cross, on the crucifixion. Uh, we have to, we should be ready to suffer for Christ any circumstances, any situations. and we have to prove that we are the truthful and faithful obedient children of Christ Jesus in Christ hallelujah there then we can see the king of glory lord jesus christ can do marvelous things miraculous things we can get breakthrough in every bondage whatever we have because of the sufferings what we may pass we have been passed through and will be comforted in christ the comfort will lead us to the testimony in life the witnessing life the our life will get into shining light therefore the people those who are suffering will come to us to receive the comfort in christ hallelujah if we suffer we are entitled to for entitled for the comfort when we comfort and we are that to comfort others as christ comforted us therefore with that courage and boldness with hope let us pray together in one mind in one heart with the spirit and wisdom god can do mightiest things in the days to come ahead of us hallelujah amen let god bless this word of god on this day amen